Hello everyone and welcome to 2019 and this is ET News. I'm Joseph McGuire and I'm Kimora Peterson. ET News brings you the latest news and information out of Edison Career and Technology High School. Coming up on ET News, we'll look at how some of our fellow students study for the Regents exams. But first, how can your parents and guardians be more involved in your educational life here at Edison? They play a huge role in our lives. Although it seems like they aren't as engaged with our educational lives as some of us would like, which is why parent engagement is a good program to solve many of those problems. Joining me now is Dr. Cohen, Title I and Parent Engagement Coordinator, to talk more about how parents can get involved. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Cohen. Thank you, Kimura. Happy to be here. What is your role as Title I and Parent Coordinator? Well, my role as Title I and Parent Engagement Coordinator pretty much aligns with our mission. And that is to assist parents in becoming confident, active leaders to support our children here at the Edison campus in reaching their highest potential. What do you offer? We offer quite a bit to engage our parents. We offer workshops, and they can be on special education, how to help your child succeed. We also offer the Parent Leadership Academy, which is a four-day training where parents complete, they get a graduation ceremony and a certificate. And in that training, they learn how to be an effective parent representative. They learn about the Title I laws and Title I monies. Why should parents get involved? Well, there's a plethora of research that tells us, and everyone who's in education knows that research exists, and that research tells us that when a parent is involved, there's a positive impact with the student's attendance, their behavior, and in the classroom with their progress. Uh, more importantly, it tells us that regardless of that parent's socioeconomic level, regardless of their education level, their racial background, they still can impact their child's education. And I really believe that when a parent is involved, they create this expectation for their child. And students tend to want to live up to the child's expectation. And when the parents are doing that, they're creating a positive attitude for their child to learn. How do they get involved? There are many ways parents can get involved. I'd like to highlight a few. There's the parent-teacher conference. There's the open houses. These things are already in place. They're on the school calendar. Parents can look at that and find out when they're going to be held. We also have the parent group. We always are inviting our parents to join the parent group. When they come to this parent group, they get the firsthand information about the resources and opportunities for their children. Also, utilizing technology. A parent can get on the Parent Connect or the RCSD link. So they can do that from home. They can check their child's attendance. They can check and see how well their child is doing in school. If parents want to contact you, how do they do that? That's very easy. Parents just need to call the school, the main number, 324-9700, and my extension is 2208, and it just asks for Dr. Cohen. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Cohen. Thank you for having me. The last week of January marks the middle of the RCSE school year, and it's also the time when Regents exams are taken. For many of us, the word studying can mean so many different things. I am going to go home and go at any type of tutoring to study and study and study until I pass this test, whatever I got to do, for June 2019 so I can graduate class in 2019. What are you doing to prepare for your Regents? I am... Studying at home extra hard for the living environment exam. And yeah, what you doing? The same thing. Reading that book. Um, pues estoy en mi hora de lunch bajo a la clase de Mr. Morales a hacer los trabajos para poder. Oh, I need, I need, uh, I need to pass global to graduate. So I'm studying every day. I'm studying. I'm working hard. Going to Castle Learning. Who has the toughest job in our building? It could be this man. I would say the hardest part of my job is knowing where to draw the line and hold the, the student accountable um, for his or her work. Um, sometimes you want to help too much and not allow the student to drive themselves. So I would say that's the hardest part of my job. Well, that does it for this edition of ET News. Check us out every Friday. I'm Joseph McGuire. And I'm Kimora Peterson. Thanks for watching and have a great day.